that's amazing that you took took that from it and I appreciate you telling me this because and I've never talked about this before but I always just to myself in my head battle with the classic you know the nice guys finish last argument because for my entire life my mom has always said you know your your uh, biggest weakness and it, this was not in a negative way, but more of just just wanting to look out for me, you know, being too trusting of people, being too nice. Um, and so, you know, uh, kind of playing off this, you know, should I be a little more hardcore, a little more aggressive, a little more not me? Uh, because, you know, do I need to be in this world? But, uh, you know, I, I've... I believe, learn and realize over time that, uh, and this is just me personally, but um, you know, I I I do, uh, you know, deeply care about people, uh, and you know, I I do feel like maybe I am a little too nice at times, but um, you know, for. You know, that one time every once in a while that I might get walked all over, you know, there's a hundred times that I'm thankful and um, am proud of myself for, you know, always, you know, really striving to treat every single person, no matter what the circumstance, with love and respect. And now... You know, uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of gray, just turned 30, <laughs> looking over this long, you know, salty life I've had. Uh, looking back, you know, I do feel like now I'm finally starting to get to a place where, looking back, I do realize that um, it's not a bad thing at all to you know, be, uh, if you want to say, soft or... Uh, a square or you know whatever it is and you know when the times as a marine in Afghanistan uh, when I've needed to be when I was called upon when that was appropriate for that situation and that mission I feel like uh, going into a room first with the saw you know (laughs) kicking in the door having a couple hand grenades on uh, on my on my plate carrier, you know, I, uh, that was me at that time, but now I do feel like I've gotten it as far as I have in life and I've done as well as I have, obviously with the amazing support team and the people that picked me up when I stumbled, you know, but um, aside from that, I do feel like uh, my softness, I guess, uh, has got me to an incredible place in life. You know, there's there's a a saying, which I was thinking of as you were talking about that. The saying is, and I I know you've heard it before, because I know I have. The saying is, don't mistake kindness for weakness. And if you think about why that saying exists, that saying exists for two reasons. One, because people do mistake kindness for weakness. People see someone that's nice and kind and they think, oh, that person's a pushover. So that's one reason that that statement exists. The other reason that that statement exists is they're saying don't do that because it's a mistake. Because kindness is not weakness. In fact, kindness takes strength. And when you have that person that has that internal fortitude, and they have the, the the self-assurance that they don't need to, you know, what makes someone walk around with their chest, you know, pu- pushed out, acting like they're tough? Most of the time, those tough guys are acting like they're tough because they're insecure about something. That That's what's going on. And so when people actually have, when people are kind, it's because they're secure. I can tell you, like, I, tra- I train jiu-jitsu. I'm way nicer. I, w- I you know, I started training jiu-jitsu when I was, I started training when I was 20-something. I became nicer and nicer and nicer the more I trained jiu-jitsu because I realized 
oh yeah, like I don't need to act like a tough guy. I don't need to walk around like I'm some intimidating guy. No, it's like, oh, I know how to fight. If somebody wants to bother me, then I can handle it, but I really don't want to because I don't need to, right? So I think that idea of mistaking kindness for weakness is there, there's a reason why that term gets said and there's a reason why you, you best heed that. And the other thing is, you know, when you just talked about, well, I'll say this, kindness may have a negative impact in the short term sometimes, right? I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, hey, sometimes, oh, like, oh, this person kind of got what they wanted in that immediate short term thing. Right. You know, somebody, oh, here's, you know, somebody cut in front of the line. And instead of me being like, hey, you know, go to the back line, it's like, uh, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. It's fine. And, and, you know, I think to myself, well, that person's probably going to be somewhere, you know, who knows what they've got going on in their life, whatever. They got kids yeah, exactly. or whatever. So, fine. They, they might win in that situation right there, but over the long term, be, being kind to people and helping people out, I mean, look at the support network that you just talked about. Those people were supporting you. Obviously, they're doing it because they're good people, but they're also doing it because you're a good person. You know, and that little extra effort when they say, hey, this guy's a good human being. This guy said hi to me. This guy was nice to me. This guy didn't flip out when I made a mistake. Like, okay, the, that long term, that kindness is going to win every single time, long term. Like I said, short term, there's going to be some, some jerk that's going to walk around and push you around. It's like, okay, everyone just saw what just happened. And when you come back here into the store or into the situation and you want a little extra help from somebody, it's just you're not going to get what you want. You know, I, I, used to, I was the admiral's aide for a while. And I used to have to book us travel yeah no pressure no pressure and <laughs> just sit just send me back to iraq oh yeah. man yeah i will believe <laughs> not, me, I not, would, not uh, logistical <laughs> plane tickets i would have gone back to iraq in a heartbeat <laughs> but you know he's a great guy a nice guy but you know you want to take care of the boss's guy that's in charge of all the seals and i want to make his life easy so i would be booking travel and you know we'd get bad seats like on an aircraft and i would call up the the dang help desk of Delta or of America, whoever, whatever airline, and I would spend at least the first like two minutes of saying, hey, how you doing? You know, they'd say, how can I help you? And I'd say, oh, how you doing? I'm just setting up some travel. And I'd make some little small talk and I'd be nice to them. And I guarantee you, like the chances of success when you were just nice to people, just just, uh, just be nice to them. And they'd say, well, th you know, the first response would be like, no, the seats are all booked. I'm like, oh, I'd say, you know, ah, wow. I, is there anything I could do? Because I got my boss. I don't. I usually complain about my boss. That's how I would connect with him. I'd say, you know, my boss is gonna. I work for this guy, and he can be a bit harsh, which was actually not true. So I was telling a little white lie. <laughs> but they but could I, relate. Yeah, they could relate to it. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I was, as soon as they related to me as like someone that was just a working nug, like they were, they'd say, ah, oh, you know what? I can get you an upgrade, or hey, let me get you a window, or whatever. And they just take care of me just by being nice, you know? Whereas I guarantee you, you get on the phone with someone at an airline and you start saying, look, I booked these seats two weeks ago. You need to give me the seat I want. There's no possible You're way. accidentally on the next flight. <laughs> yeah. You're not even on that one. Exactly. <laughs> not window, not aisle, you're on the next one. You're a middle seat, 47th row. Yeah, you're in the cargo yeah. van. <laughs> so but, yeah. But you know, that's uh, you're exactly right, man. I couldn't have said it better. And with all that said, uh, I always kind of forget like, you know, the biggest piece of this. And you know, I don't, after getting hit with a grenade, you know, it's, it's okay if people uh, think I'm nice. I feel like hopefully that in itself gives me a little bit of street cred, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, that gives you some cred, I guess. 